It's the biggest sporting event in the world, or so the Americans would happy believe. This weekend, we'll see Super Bowl 58 take place with the San Francisco 49ers and Kansas City Chiefs going head to head for the iconic Vince Lombardi Trophy. Although taking place in front of a modest 65,000 fans in Las Vegas, it's estimated that an audience of 100 million in the US alone will tune in. As much as sporting purists might hate to admit it, the Super Bowl is as much about the spectacle as it is the sport, with many casual fans switching on for the glitz and glamour of the halftime performances and adverts that interrupt it. Even if the game falls flat, we're still talking about the best and the worst of the off-field antics. That being said, here are five of the most infamous moments from the Super Bowls gone by. The Blackout Bowl. At the culmination of Super Bowl 47 between the Baltimore Ravens and the San Francisco 49ers, a power cut plunged parts of the Superdome into darkness. Some 73,000 people were sat in pitch black whilst officials scrambled around to get the power back on. Social media was awash with conspiracy theories as to why the lights went out, but after a lengthy 34 minute delay, backup systems kicked in and play was able to commence. Taking the knee. Back in 2016, before a match, quarterback Colin Kaepernick took a knee during the national anthem as a protest against racial injustice and police brutality. At the time, Kaepernick said that he could not stand to show pride in the flag of a country that oppressed black people. The act would divide opinions, bringing the eye of none other than President Donald Trump. But regardless, it sent shockwaves across the globe with many other sports embracing the practice over the years. Fast forward to 2022 and one of the greatest Super Bowl halftime shows of all time and rapper Eminem would restoke the fire of controversy by taking a knee after his iconic performance alongside Dr. Dre in solidarity of the heavily criticised former 49ers quarterback, Prince. When Prince, the iconic artist who penned the hit Purple Rain, took to the stage during Super Bowl 41 in the midst of a massive downpour, many feared that something might go horribly amiss. It's no secret that water and electricity do not mix. That combined with an oil slick-like stage thanks to the driving rain probably led to many NFL officials watching through their fingers when he arrived at half time. They needed have worried. Prince delivered one of the most iconic and memorable Super Bowl performances of all time, despite the conditions. However, whilst performing his aforementioned hit, a huge sheet came up, casting a silhouette of the performer and his guitar, which many felt a phallic in appearance. Over 150 people complained to the FCC, and the mishap was lampooned by various late night shows in America, but fortunately, it wasn't enough to overshadow the performance by rock royalty. The advert from hell. Advertisers pay big money to feature their products during the Super Bowl ad breaks, and that's signing off millions on big name stars and CGI to sell their products. When they get it right, the ads make bank. When they get it wrong, however, it can cost them more than money. Their reputation or even their business can be left in tatters. And that's exactly what happened to Just For Feet. In 1999, an advert created by Saatchi and Saatchi featured a barefoot Kenyan runner racing across the savannah while being pursued by men in a Humvee who then drugged the man before slapping on a pair of running shoes against his wishes. How this idea ever made it out of the pitching room is anyone's guess. Problematic, culturally insensitive, and absolutely bizarre, it was dubbed the ad from hell. Just for feet sued Saatchi and Saatchi, but by then the damage was done. The company never recovered and they soon filed for bankruptcy. Nipplegate, possibly the most famous entry in the list we've left until last. At the time, Justin Timberlake was the biggest pop star on the planet and his collaboration with pop icon Janet Jackson has halftime fans waiting in fevered anticipation for the collaboration of a lifetime. The place was rocking until the final few seconds of the song when the Crimea River crooner ripped a part of Janet's outfit away, exposing her breast to millions of viewers. Dubbed Nipplegate, the moment made headlines around the world. At the time, Timberlake famously claimed it was a wardrobe malfunction, but the immediate backlash for Janet Jackson led to her losing a number of bookings in the years that followed. Over time, Timberlake has subsequently caught flack for his contribution and for not doing more to stand up for Jackson at the time. 